Great. Uh, th thank you very much, Josh. As, uh, as a local uh, Scarborough City Councillor who's been waiting for a very, very long time, and I think would have been much happier if the uh, city uh, back 25 years ago had decided to build a subway out to here instead of an SRT, which you see behind us, which is an orphan technology, which is on its very last legs, yet still is one of the highest ridership areas in the entire city. I'm very ha happy to be here and uh, want to keep this uh, historic moment and, and look back at history. Uh, I look at the ridership numbers proje projected for the new Scarborough subway at 7,300 people uh, per peak hour during rush hour. And I've had a few colleagues uh, of mine say, well, that's not very high, Glenn. We're opening up a new subway station and your ridership numbers aren't very high. And I thought, well, that's funny. Let me go check the other stations and see what their ridership has been historically. And the very first one, and I think everyone's been to Union Station, and everybody knows how busy Union Station is. When Union Station was first opened, its peak ridership, uh, ridership was 3,200 people per hour. So the Scarborough Subway at Scarborough Town Centre, when it's first opened, will be twice as busy as Union Station when Union Station was first opened. So if it was good enough for Union Station in downtown Toronto to have 3,000 people per peak hour coming into a Union subway station, surely I hope it's good enough for all of us to endorse and support and build a station that's going to have twice the number of people. Of course, if you go to North York on the Young Line, one of the busiest stations in the entire transit system is the Finch subway station. When the Finch subway station was opened, it had a, a, a ridership hour at its busiest hour of 7,600 people per hour. The Scarborough projection is 7,300 people per peak hour, pretty much identical. So you've got the east end and the north end of the city opening subway stations with very similar riderships. The Kipling subway station opened some 34 years ago had a per peak ridership average or sorry per peak ridership of 4,800 people per peak hour. So again the West End ridership when it was first opened and even to today is lower than the ridership than we have in the East End. Uh, finally if we go up to um, Downsview subway station opened some two decades ago it had a per peak ridership of 1,700 people per peak hour. The Scarborough projection for our new subway station is 7,300 people per peak hour. So I think when we put the uh, extension of the Scarborough subway into a historical perspective, you, you find out very quickly that in fact the Scarborough subway will be busier than virtually every main station and terminus station ever built in the history of the City of Toronto. So as a Scarborough resident you can understand why we're a little bit perturbed when some of our colleagues say Scarborough doesn't have enough ridership. That is just factually untrue and misleading to the people of Toronto. Scarborough has the same or higher ridership than all of the other stations when they were first built. I'd like to just, you know, and that's the future projections in the past. I'd like to just uh, very shortly talk about the ridership that's on the system today. If we compare the Kennedy subway station with a lot of other stations, again, I think there's a misperception in downtown Toronto that downtown is busy and Scarborough is not. And that is factually incorrect, incorrect and, and it is untrue and it is misleading for people to say things like that. So if we take a look at the Kennedy subway station at 70,000 passengers a day, St. Andrew, King Station, Kipling Station, Queen College, Bay, St. Patrick, Sherburne, Davisville, Wellesley, Osgood, all have lower riderships. So I think it would, it would surprise many of my friends who live in High Park that see 10,000 people a day go through the High Park subway station. And the High Park subway station is a busy subway station, it's a needed subway station, it's one I wouldn't uh, su support closing down. I think that the High Park subway station needs to be there. But the High Park subway station has 10,000 people a day going through its doors. Kennedy subway station, 30,000 people going through its doors. So the subway stations in Scarborough are as busy or busier than the majority of subway stations in downtown Toronto and North York 
and the east, and the west end of the city. So as somebody who's looking at these numbers uh, in the unfortunate position of having to defend Scarborough from the same group of people who have always opposed the Scarborough, that haven't accepted the democratic will of the City of Toronto Council, that has now supported the subway on six different occasions, that are choosing to ignore the words of Minister um, Glenn Murray, who said this, the provincial government will be building a subway here with or without the subway, without, with or without the subway. We are here. We are going to build. It's a historic time for Scarborough, and we will be very glad and celebrate when we finally become an equal partner in the City of Toronto. Uh, so with that, I'll pass the microphone back over to Mayor Tory if there are questions. But I want to say to the people of Scarborough and to the City of Toronto, if you love subways, charge, because baby, we're building one out in Scarborough.